regional therapy is an attempt to make use of the fact that if we can deliver chemotherapies in high enough doses, many of the common chemotherapies we already have available to us can be very effective. The problem with chemotherapy always is it's a balance between efficacy and toxicity. And as you know, when you hear stories about patients getting treated with intravenous or systemic chemotherapy, they'll often have side effects, hair loss, nausea, vomiting, decrease in their white blood cell count, other problems, neuropathies, you know, injury to peripheral nerves. This is all a result of the toxicity of the chemotherapy for normal tissue. The bottom line with regional therapy is the idea of confining the delivery of the chemotherapy to a limb or organ or region of the body at risk for cancer or with cancer in it in order to maximize the delivery of chemotherapy to that location and minimize toxicity to the rest of the body. When we give intravenous chemotherapy, about a teaspoonful actually gets to where the cancer is and the rest of it gets to the rest of the body. Whereas when we give it regionally, almost all of the chemotherapy gets to exactly where we want it to go.